to the 116th and second virtual graduation ceremony of Sudani Essential School and Sped Center with the theme Strengthening the Quality of Education Amid the COVID-19 Pandemic. bow our heads and let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we celebrate this momentous event, our graduation day, we, the graduates of Batch 2021, humbly ask your blessings upon us for reaching this significant point in our lives. We thank you, God, for our loving and supportive parents and teachers who work hand in hand to enable us this success. This day signifies the end of our elementary years and the beginning of a new chapter, which is the high school years. All these blessings that we are about to receive today became possible because of you. Thank you, God, for the years in which you have been so good and faithful to us. You have always guided us and protected us in every struggle we encountered. Thank you for your favor in this time of pandemic. We pray that you continue to bless us with a healthy body and mind. May the years ahead of us bring promises and victories. May your presence be with us always and draw us near to you so that we could make better choices and right decisions. Help us direct our paths every day and create our best tomorrow. Thank you, Father, for the promises of a bright future. All this we pray in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Source, our Provider, and Healer. Amen. Ay, 
Dynamic and Intelligent Schools Division Superintendent of the Division of Nueva Vizcaya, Dr. Rochelle Ardiana, the Competent and Beauteous Public Schools District Supervisor, Dr. Mona Lisa E. Cabato, the Equally Intelligent and Workaholic Principal of this school, Dr. Gemma N. Santa Ines, the Ever-Supportive Municipal Counselor, Honorable Eduardo D.L. Chongson, the very active ETCA officials and stakeholders, fellow teachers, loving parents, dear pupils, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant morning to one and all. In and on behalf of the 67 teaching and non-teaching personnel and 2,029 pupils, it is my pleasure to welcome you to this 116 and second virtual graduation ceremony of Solano East Central School for this school year 2020-2021. Thank you to everyone gathered today to witness and to celebrate this special occasion with the class of 2021. Good day again and mabuhay po tayong lahat. Let us celebrate your milestone in a very unique, virtual, and personal way. 
Graduating during a pandemic truly transforms you into our nation's Filipino youth in mission. I hope that what is happening now has enlightened you not only on what kind of future you want for yourselves, but also about what kind of leaders, nation builders, agents of change, and catalysts of progress you need to be. Let the fireworks begin today. Think of your diploma as a lighted match and each one of you as a fuse. Set the world on fire. It is your antidote to our sick world. Always remember that your education is a dress rehearsal for a life that is yours to lead. Your life is your story and the adventure ahead of you is the journey to fulfill your own purpose and potential. Congratulations, Batch 2021! Para sa lahat ng mga mag-aaral na magsisipagtapos ngayong taong 2021, maligayang bati! Nais ko din ibahagi ang aking pasasalamat sa lahat ng punong guro at gurong naging mas masipag at mas malikhain pa noong nakaraang taon para masigurong dekalidad pa rin ang mga serbisyong ibinibigay para sa sektor ng edukasyon. Para sa bawat estudyanteng Solano One, ang lokal na pamahalaan ng Solano ay patuloy na magiging kaagapay upang masiguro na kayo ay laging mabibigyan ng dekalidad na edukasyon para sa mas maunlad na hinaharap. Patuloy tayong magbibigay ng serbisyong tapat at alagang sapat para sa lahat. Para sa bawat batang Solano One, Magtulungan po tayo. Muli, congratulations, Class of 2021! So our Capital Public Schools District Supervisor, Dr. Monalisa A. Kamatu. I have the honor to present to you 162 male and 116 female with a total of 322 candidates for graduation this school year 2020-2021 of Solano East Central School and Sped Center. Our most dynamic schools division superintendent, Dr. Rachel Ariana Sesosis. Upon the presentation of Dr. Gemma and S. Principal 2 of Solano East Central School, I saw two candidates for graduation have satisfactorily completed the requirements of the basic education curriculum in the elementary prescribed by the Department of Education. And they await for your confirmation, Madam. Certified by your school head that you have satisfactorily completed and complied with the requirements prescribed for grade 6 under the K-12 basic education program as your school's division superintendent by the authority vested in me by the Secretary of Education, I now accept and confirm you graduates of school year 2020-2021. Pagpalang araw sa ating lahat. Ang pagtatapos ay isang masayang selebrasyon at okasyon kung saan nararamdaman natin ang iba't ibang emosyon para sa ating mga magsisipagtapos. Saya, tuwa, galak ang nadalama dahil sa tagumpay na nakamit ng mga mag-aaral na ito sa mga taon nilang pakipagbuno sa kanilang pag-aaral. Ang selebrasyon ng tagumpay na ito ay hindi lamang para sa sarili, para sa eskwelahan, ngunit selebrasyon ng buong komunidad. Truly, it's a major cause for celebration. A celebration for having ripped the rewards of success. My dear learners, you are truly blessed for having reached this far in your education. You have so many people to look back onto and to say thank you, for without them, 
you will not graduate today. Sa ating mga minamahal na guro, maraming maraming salamat sa inyong pagbibigay ng walang kondisyon na pag-aaruga at pagmamahal sa mga mag-aaral natin. Thank you for having given your talent, time, and even treasures to your learners. Thank you for patiently leading them the way towards learning, for equipping them with the skills that they need, life skills that will make them productive citizens and future nation builders, for spending so much time in preparing the modules, activity sheets, and learning materials. Their efforts were not in vain. Look at your product. I hope and I pray that you have not only been filled, dear learners, with the right skills and with enough knowledge, but more importantly, with the right attitude. Napakahalaga ang mga itinuturo ng ating mga guru ng mas tong pag-ugali at tamang asal. Napakahalaga ng pag-ibig maguno, magpagkapotaw. Saan ka man mapunta, tumanda ka man at magkapamilya, hindi ang talino mo ang magdadala sa iyo sa tagumpay, kundi ang mabuting asal. Your character, your attitude, which our dear teachers and your parents have nurtured within you. Our theme, Kalidad ng Edukasyon, Patatagin sa Itna ng Pandemia, speaks of how the resiliency of our teachers and the greed of our learners in having surpassed the challenges of COVID-19. Nothing can stop our teachers from doing their vocation. And so my heartfelt thanks to our teachers, our heroes without games. Our parents are the most important persons in our life. And today, no one can surpass their feeling of happiness. And no one can ever outrun what they have gone through this year, taking on the dual roles of parent and teacher. Sa inyo pong mga magulang, maraming maraming salamat. Dahil naging posible na magpatuloy ang edukasyon sa gitna ng pandemya dahil sa inyo. To our learners, you are very fortunate for having such great parents. To all the stakeholders of the school, the branding captain and us officials and the entire community, to the parents, teachers, as well President, officers, and members, thank you for supporting the programs, projects, and activities of this school. Your school is beautiful, is progressive, and mirrors your collaboration and support. Hindi po kaya ng ating principal at ng mga kagruan na itaguyod ang ating eskwelahan. Kailangan nila kayo. At maraming salamat dahil ang pagbabayanihan at volunteerism ay naramdaman sa eskwelahan ito. And now I post the challenge to you, dear learners, Continue what you have started. Today is not the end, but just the beginning of more challenges to come as a student. Your school and teachers have equipped you with all that you need to handle the next level of your education. The things you have learned through your modules should not just stay in your head. It should be translated into productive work. As education is learning, you should apply what you have learned. It's not what you know that matters. It's what you do with what you know. Your parents are there behind you and beside you to give all that you need, even if it costs their life. Kasi mahal nila kayo. Huwag niyong sayangin ang pagkakataong ito. I hope the time will not come that you will say, Sana pinagbuti ko ang pag-aaral. Do your best. Continue studying hard. Pahalagahan ninyo ang sakripisyo ng inyong mga magulang. A few months from now, you will enter a higher level of learning. While you are listening now, you should know by now the direction that you will take. There's no reason for you not to continue your education because public education is free. Dream big and start doing something to make your dreams come true. With your parents, your teachers, your school, and the Department of Education supporting you and with God's grace, you can be what you want to be. Dear learners, the Department of Education the school's division office of Nueva Vizcaya, through the leadership of our school's division superintendent, Dr. Rochelle Liana, assures you that we will continue and never stop providing you with a high quality of education that you all deserve this pandemic. You will soon be entering the real world and our schools are ready to prepare you for that big day, our future nation builders. Remember that you can always choose your battles. You can be losers, you can be failures, or you can be winners and survivors. Your success lies in the choices that you make. To do or not to do, to be or not to be. Your future depends on the decisions and actions that you will take. To you, dear graduates of 2021, 
Congratulations. God bless you on your next journey. Mabuhay po tayong lahat. to our dearest deputy officials, our provincial and municipal local government officials, officials of partner agencies, community and civic stakeholders, parents, school heads, administrators, teachers, other personnel and staff, graduates, movers and honorees of the school year 2021's Year and Rights and team, strengthening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic, kalidad ng edukasyon lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemya. We have reached this moment of passage which has come full circle. Our year and rights, graduation and moving up ceremonies mark the end of one very challenging school year, a very new learning journey for all of us. The mixed feelings of apprehension and excitement are our companion as we finally grasp the fact and the reality of what we have endured as we now leave one face and are about to step into another new front line to face new set of challenges, hardship and fears, yet also chances and opportunities as we pursue further our educational vision, goals and dreams. Though posed with challenges of today, the volatile, uncertain, complex, ambiguous and digital world and the test and trial of COVID-19 pandemic, we still claim the victory of a very fruitful year. Whether we celebrate individually, as a family or as an institution, our achievement of a successful educational year of hurdling obstacles speaks of a milestone that is a testimony of our ability to survive, adapt, and grow. Our year and ride celebration is a great occasion to gather. Together, we look back to the past and gaze hopefully to the horizon of a bright future. As an educational institution, we did our share magnificently, superbly. We continued the full implementation of our K-12 basic education program through the delivery of the most essential learning competencies and the 21st century teaching turned community and home-based learning through our printed modules and digital technology. We manifested innovative and principled leadership in schools with our school heads and teachers moving heaven and earth so that they may serve and deliver the necessary self-learning modules and learning activity sheets our learners need. We work persistently on building partnership with our stakeholders for our school and learners' necessities from the generation of resources for our learning materials to the maintenance of safety, readiness, cleanliness, and orderliness of our schools. We see how things have changed. Today, broad and positive shift and transformation brought by the pandemic times are evident in our schools, in the way we serve and deliver. This has for everyone brought a sense of solidarity and unified spirit, a feeling of pride on the many accomplishments attained. We remain optimistic of the new talents, new interests and adaptations, of all repertoire being replaced by new, of former understanding being superseded with new knowledge. Amid the COVID-19 threat, we still live in a wonderful and vibrant community, helped along through by the unending love and dedicated work of all of you great men and women of DepEd. Our Assistant Schools Division Superintendent, our Chiefs, Supervisors, Specialists, School Heads, Head Teachers, Master Teachers, Other Teachers, Related Teaching and Non-Teaching Staff. I always say that an institution can only become as great as its people. Evidently, SDO Nueva Vizcaya have formed a roster of accomplished individuals that you are today making true of our vision of a great Department of Education. We do pay tribute to the effort and sacrifices and love of our parents, our local government, unit and barangay officials have exemplified this special school year. We express appreciation to these empowered individual contributors 
who took the chance as opportunity to be of greater assistance to our school and community. Let these noteworthy actions from these commendable people be a legacy of brilliant and steadfast service, may it flourish, and may it propel the succeeding school years to glorious feet and triumph for those key actors to derive inspiration from in vanquishing present challenges and actively shaping a brighter future for our Novo Vizcayano children. This year's graduation and moving up is also a time of celebration and thanksgiving. Dear movers and graduates, our young people who are our hope, Look back with joy and gratefulness to the sacrifices made and resilience exhibited during this year's challenging time of COVID-19 era, of no class, face-to-face -face interaction, of social distancing and face masks, of modules with its production, delivery, and retrieval, of radio-based and TV-based instructions, of lessons using tech gadgets, of virtual classes and online monitoring, of mobile teaching, home visitation and class homes, of your parents as teachers, and many more new instances of engagement so that your education will continue. You celebrate with pride at all that you have accomplished, experienced, learned and overcome, and thank the Lord and all the people who have helped and supported you along the way especially your parents, teachers, relatives, and friends. Today, you, dear graduates and movers, should also look forward with confidence, for you are tested by the conditions of the time. Go forward, onward, and toward to use all your gained knowledge and experience, talents and abilities, all your creativity and energy honed by this pandemic situation, to find a way to continue to enrich and better yourself so that you can contribute meaningfully to your community tomorrow. As Nelson Mandela said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. It is a bright path ahead of you. May our dear God bless you always and my heartfelt congratulations. We at the Department of Education, SDO Nueva Vizcaya, are proud co-workers and witnesses as we again reach this part of the year with so many harvests and accomplishments and much to celebrate. I wish you a happy day and a meaningful gathering. Long live everyone! My cordial greetings to all. During these tough times, as we operate within imperfect circumstances, we see the unfolding of one of the most beautiful things ever made on earth, the success of our young people in their academic journey as they ins day by day towards their dreams. To our dear learners, without a doubt, during these trying times, the struggles have been real and the challenges almost insurmountable. Today, we witness sense of purpose, direction, and meaning, winning over every sign of difficulty that came your way as you toil ceaselessly in the vineyard of education. Our theme this year is strengthening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic in a huge way recognizes our strength as people who cannot be floored by even the strongest of challenges. In fact, we have proven that together, working for a common vision, we are an armada of strong-willed individuals who cannot be swayed and discouraged by tribulations. Thanks for the deep sense of motivation that makes half the job accomplished. We have also shown that innovative minds always rule the day and that makes us prepared to confront each challenge that will beset us. The years do not promise an easy journey and with the threat of the pandemic still lurking around, the going will get tough and the tough must keep going. And the spirit cannot be broken and will surely prevail. 
It is an irrefragable fact that despite our plea to varied ways of life, we have shown how united we can be in advancing the common agenda in education. We have done our share in realizing our ultimate goal of producing holistically developed K-12 basic education curriculum graduates who are not only knowledgeable and competent but also value-laden and discerning. We are diverse in culture and so we may have varied performances in all that we do but we share a common goal to be the best version of ourselves so we can be of help to others in the best way we can. Our sense of shared destiny has allowed us to bend without breaking to attune our actions and efforts to the agenda of national leadership, but it too proved that we can do so without diminishing our local principles, that indeed it takes a village to raise a child. Each one of us, no matter how diverse, is a strand in the colorful fabric of human civilization. This is the value that we want you, our dear graduates, to embrace and be proud of. Our sense of identity, either on a regional or national landscape, must remain an important consideration in achieving our goals and compromising it. To think more new thoughts and ways of thinking must never be an option. We must continue to prove the world that even in the face of a dreaded pandemic, quality education can have its way through. The Department of Education Region 2 has unambiguously laid down in its Regional Education Development Plan all its projects, programs, and activities that shall inspire service above self and only about the future of learners who shall eventually assume significant roles in nation building. May you continue to be a proof that the kind of education our country is one for the world to share. Congratulations dear parents, dear teachers, and to all of you learners. Mabuhay kayong lahat! Good day to each and everyone who is uh, attending virtually present at this time of our graduation. Uh, graduates school year which ends at this uh, time. First of all, I'd like to greet the parents and family members without whose sacrifices, whose uh, reminders and whose participation process for our uh, graduates have resulted in this culmination uh, program. Uh, this year, your role has changed uh, drastically. Where we've always thought, we've always believed that the matter of educating our children rests nearly exclusively on our teachers and our staff. This time, you parents, you family members, you who are in the households of our learners have expanded your role and contributed to this wonderful day where it finally, finally, our learners are graduating in this culmination exercise. So congratulations, because this year has not been very easy, has not been a, a picnic for our teachers, for our family members, as well, uh, especially the parents mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, and all who have contributed to the uh, achievement of our learners at this time. So, maraming salamat at congratulations, parents and family members. Mas malaki ang role ninyo at this time compared to earlier graduation exercises. Secondly, I would also like to greet our teachers without whose very uh, careful uh, review and careful supervision of the work of our pupils and our learners, this event would not have 
take, would not be taking place um, at all. And so thank you teachers, your role has also expanded in addition to seeing to it that the modules are faithfully followed, the assignments are correctly uh, implemented, and the learners are truly learning. And you have had to deal with new ways of assessing the performance also of the learners. So congratulations teachers for enduring, for your patience, for your love for our learners, and your willingness to engage in a way and methods of teaching which are different from those which are used to. Assessment must have been especially difficult for you, especially since you were not able to see most of the time our students in face-to-face -face, uh, meetings and most of the meetings of course were virtual. We'd also like to thank the local government units for their interest, for their cooperation and for their continuing and continuing uh, contributions to the needs of education, even as our children do not go to school. Your donations of material as well as financial resources at this time are most welcome and your advice has been taken seriously, not only by our teachers, by our school officials, but also by our officials in the Department of Education. We continually talk with local government units, especially in times of disaster, in times of great need for classrooms, for space, and for responses to unforeseen emergencies. Thank you, uh, local government uh, units. But of course, most of the congratulatory uh, greetings of fall on the deserving uh, graduate. Each and every one of you is truly special. You are different from the other graduates who have passed through the portals of your school. You went to school practically without seeing your teachers, if at all. You went to school with your parents, your mothers and your fathers hovering over your shoulders and seeing to it that you are able to complete your assignments. You are completing your studies at a time when examinations and assessments are different. You are culminating this uh, long months of um, hard work at this time, uh, even as you have to do family chores, even as you are distracted, and even as your world has turned upside down and it seems and it appears as if we don't know what the future holds and what will happen next. But you have persevered and now you are ready to graduate. And therefore you deserve each and every bit of congratulations from us in the Department of Education, from your parents and family members, your teachers, from the officials in local government, as well as in the parent teachers associations. You deserve each and every single congratulatory pat on your back, each hug virtually, of course, and each greeting, which I am sure you are also receiving virtually. I don't know if you will remember this event many, many years from now. I have tried to recall myself who our graduation speaker was when I finished high school and when I finished uh, my college studies. All I remember is that the graduation speaker was someone important, someone who was invited because that someone is supposed to give a message. What was more important to us graduates at the time was the excitement of the celebrations, the happiness and the joy of our parents the sadness of parting from our classmates and from our teachers, and the enjoyment of all the graduation events that usually take place come commencement day. When I was a college student, we had a series of events which were designed to uh, embed in our minds, which were designed to help us remember and not forget our days in college. We would spend one whole day going around the campus 
visiting the classrooms, saying goodbye to our teachers, and sharing our memories. We would have bonfires to say goodbye to each other. We had baccalaureate services where we committed ourselves to God and we prayed for guidance when we go out into the world. So many celebrations and the speaker, of course, is the least important and easily forgotten component of the graduation um, exercise. Nonetheless, I will uh, exert all efforts to share with you what I see are things or issues which a graduate uh, should uh, remember and recall. I have said that you are very special. You are very different. You are pioneering. There has been no other class like your class. There has been no other graduate like you as a graduating student because you are the very first graduate of the blended learning response to education uh, in the Philippines. And so you ask yourself, what awaits you in the world outside? You can either work because the kind of curriculum you survived and underwent as a student will enable you to go to work if you wish to go to work. Some of you will proceed to further studies and this would be a wonderful thing because there are many opportunities for further expanding your knowledge, for further answering and looking for explanations of issues, events that are that make you curious, especially in science, in technology, and also uh, in the arts. So you can work, you can go to further uh, studies, and perhaps some of you will settle down, uh, hopefully not too soon, so you can pursue what you really want to do. So today, this is why we call it, we call this exercise a commencement exercise. It's not the end of our studies. It's not the end of all our efforts with blended learning, with modules, with floods, with earthquakes, and of course with COVID. It's a commencement of doors opening to you. More doors will be open because you are a graduate. You can work, you can proceed for further studies, you can help your parents and you can perhaps look for opportunities to do what you have always wanted to do whether at work whether at advanced studies whether at learning more in science and technology in mathematics and in the arts all of these opportunities are available to you more doors are being opened i hope you will select the door which arouses your curiosity, the door which will help you know more about this world, and the door which will allow you to contribute to the development of our country and contribute whatever we can to solve our problems and our challenges. Congratulations once more to each and every one of you. Congratulations to you parents and family members. Congratulations to you, teachers. When I was chair of the board of Silliman University, each time we had graduation ceremonies, during the baccalaureate and during commencement itself, I would cry. I would cry because you are sending out into the world a new batch of, of graduates. And we want to be sure that what is awaiting them is appropriate. We want to be sure that they are ready for what awaits them when they select which door to open. And so, we tell you, go out to the world, do whatever you want to do. God be with you and be sure, be assured that all of us love each and every one of you. Congratulations. Strengthening the quality of education 
amid the COVID-19 pandemic as we all know, we need education, a great equalizer more than ever. The very first time I stepped into the foyer thoughts of Solano East Central School is still vivid in my mind. I was a little afraid as I joined other children get inside the classroom, not knowing what to expect as the old cliche goes it seemed like only yesterday. And now, my batchmates of 2020, 2021 and I are about to end the great primary job. Our distinct guests are very humble district supervisor, Dr. Mona Lisa A. Gabato, our newly hardworking school principal, Dr. Gemma and Santa Ines, the enthusiastic and ever-reliable teachers of our alma mater, Solano East Central School Sped Center. Beloved guests, and not to forget our very patient and supporting parents, my fellow Easters, a pleasant morning. It is indeed a great pleasure to be with you at this point in time of our graduation, sharing my ideas on ensuring the quality of education in this time of COVID-19 pandemic, the COVID-19 has created the largest disruption to education and history. Who would have thought that the normal and ordinary things we used to do, such as going outdoors, attending school, and bonding with friends have become such luxury, such a special moment. More than a year now and we're still longing for the things to be back the way they were. The impact of the virus is all pervasive and in many places, catastrophe. We were supposed to live our lives joyfully and playfully, but this pandemic has made studying such a great responsibility. Vital ingredient of interaction has been job hard but amidst the global pandemic, all we can do is hope. Hope that everything will be alright in time. Believe that our gifts are not totally destroyed, but only paused temporarily. So, while waiting for the day wherein we can pursue our dreams once again, I pray and hope that we remain strong and keep on holding to the things that matter most. Our education. As COVID-19 continues, we must adapt and learn new ways of continuing excellence. The world doesn't stop on turning upon the emergence of hindrances blocking our ways. And so, it is our response, my dear batchmates, the batch, indestructible, that we could be flexible whatever the situation is. That's exactly why we should strengthen education amid the pandemic. Adapting online learning, television, radio, and printed materials that so-called modules. In a few years' time, we will no longer be the children that we are now. That's why we should absorb everything that we can. We should sacrifice even so a little and allow changes to mold us to the person we needed to be. It is really difficult time, not only to us learners, but also to the teachers and parents as well. It is our instinct to resist changes and will take time to get our way through it. But then again, what makes us humans so special is our flexibility and sturdiness amidst virus situation and our intelligence to create new and innovative ways of doing things. So, I hope this global challenge will not only receive our ways of life, but also the system of education. In the end, we should all have been building education system that is all encompassing, suiting the rich and financially challenged, alike so that everyone will still have an equal opportunity to reach for our dreams despite the present challenge the world has brought upon us. Once again, a pleasant morning. God bless us. Mabuhay batch in the Thank you. I have the honor to present to you the graduates of Grade 6 Makajos, gifted and talented class for the school year 2020-2021. Acompañado Tyron Jake C. With honors. Asis Emil Rainier R. With honors. 
Baka ni Jobriel Queens Xavier L. With honors. Balut Jeff Daniel F. With high honors. Bokasan Teo Zane P. With honors. Kalanse Lance Marty R. With honors. For Boost Christian G. With honors. Ganao Mark Rainer D. With honors. Duro Francis Axel D. With honors. Estrada Jared S. With high honors. Oliviano Dane Matthews. With honors. Ramos Raya Jones Paul L. With honors. Salvan Kurt Sean S. With honors. Tolentino Kylie Sean Light C. With high honors. Akob Trisha Lorraine D. With honors. Aquino Marine Catriona A. With honors. Malawag Angelica Kisha A. With honors. Carbonell Princess Justin I. With high honors. Damaso Azumi Lay R. With high honors. Katiwag Princess Adalia R. With honors. The Food Eliza Margaret A. With honors. The Larce Arizel F. With honors. Galvez Elisa Nadine M. With honors. The Pina Queen Catherine C. With honors. The Juan Daniela D. With honors. Jose Jewel Rich A. With honors. Materi Crystal and D. With honors. Materi Christy Arab B. With honors. Makuna Amina I. With honors. Navarrete Joanna Marie B. With highest honors. Patilia Precious Crystal C. With high honors. Ramos Fraja Stashi O. With honors. Samiliano Pauline L. With honors. Sartan Cyril C. With honors. Trinidad Hanin. With honors. Koba Fritz Jan Paul G. With honors. Aranja Andre Jairus T. Barrientos Dan Adrian B. Kureg Jan Kenneth B. Bakanai Shendrix S. With honors. De Guzman Clark Chan P. With honors. De Guzman Michael Andre G. Esteban Gerald F. Ferrer Clark Dennis A. With honors. Ferrer Daki Aris A. Garcia Christian D. Homo Giancarlo P. With honors. Maltizo Jeffrey S. Morales Clyde P. 
Orpia ILC Alanya Jan Eric F Valdez Justin Lay M Valera Prince Nazaren S Victoria the Third Fernando L Wapin Mark Justin C Abon Janice R Angolwan Dennis Shane B Bayun Sofia L Capiso Jenny Q Cabrera Janina B Ulili Lian M Upaya Nicole Lin G Fernandez Yona Angeli M With Honors Julia Chanel and May E with honors. Danu Ella Isabel M. Pamaril Joy C. Miguel Adaisa Zaira B. Obaldo Junaila Joy C. with honors. Oliver Jennifer P. Kiros Rachel A. With honors. Ramos Terina Mabel M. With honors. Sasam Jamela A. Siki Jennifer S. Tampawan Atiko Darain P. With honors. Valino Chantel Nelly Villanueva Sabina Luis C. to present to you the graduates of grade 6 MAPA Kumbaba for the school year 2020-2021. Acosta Ray Jensen S. Ancheta Kurt Gian R. Ariola Mani Jr. T. Bayon Jerome B. Braceros Carlos Miguel L. Bulan Peter Luis A. Kabading Aser Jas C. Carlos Junior Jerome B. De La Cruz Julius Patrick B. Doctor King Harvey C. Vincel Dean LJ G. And Ashon Joe Lester C. And Basho Joe Lester C. And Mosso Ian Kurt L. Reed C. Halyorina John Aubrey C. Estrado Frederick M. Manuizo BJP. Marcos Daniel Dave S. Pasco Jason G. Raimundo Rainel B. Reyes Richmond S. Rivera John Russell T. With honors, Roma Sandrex Jane C. Soto J. Lawrence C. Adjoba Shania Shane S. Salma Rachel May A. Campo Angelica C. Capuno Anne Marie B. 
Paranza Alessandria C. With honors, Corpus Lalain B. Tomelo Lara Michel May J. With honors, Therese Evangeline I. With honors, Felipe Mariela Jamaica L. Galindana Hazen and M. With honors. A.C. With honors. Magalay, Princess R. Mercado, Norishain A. Warrior, Eliza, Nicole D. Kaliman, Erika L. Raspado, Isha, Denise D. Raimundo Lavender Kyle B. Santos Krista Cassandra L. With honors. Berenilia Danieli Riza C. Graduates of Grade 6 Makatao for the school year 2020-2021. Abiera Jan Andre C. Acosta LJF. Arquero Mark Adrian D. Bravo Charles Angelo A. Cabiso Ian Tris B. Castro Sunny Boy Jr. B. Corpus Winsel Layton F. With honors. De La Cruz DG. With honors. Ferrer Vincent James B. Umangan Brand Joshua D. Lumbo Gian Marks B. Makaburas, Michael Angelo C. Makadangda, Jim Choi G. Maranyon, Carl James, with honors. Pimentel, Darwin E. Inaro, Sherwin S. Sudiket, Reddy French, Michelle B. with honors. Reyes, L is I with honors. Rojas Gian Carly O. Sagu Angelo James Movie S. Abon Kyla Brazil with honors. Aguinaldo Angela S. Almuete Berlin Faith T with honors. Bandao Susane Magdalene D. With honors. Bilog Lorraine Joy G. Boncha Ayesa May D. With honors. Bravo Mariel Luisa C. De La Cruz Angelica Kate B. Dr. Deza Shane A. At Drosolan Monina Chanel S. With honors. Esquera Maria Katina Janine B. Fagula Audrey Phil G. With honors. Francisco Maria Celestine B. Makaraeg Rachel Grace B. Padilla Angelica M. Paguyo, Kirsten Keisha Clear S. Read Honors. Peregrino, Lady Lynn. Raquinho, Princess Angela P. Ringor, Shinami P. Sichon, Shania Haley L. 
Maria Haya Pamela O. Read on us. present to you the graduates of grade 6 Makakalikasan school year 2020-2021 Abalus Ivan Josh A. with honors Andres Kenneth Arvin M. Bayeng Nathaniel D. with honors Beltran Lance Bernard M. Abiso Christian Hillary P. Sarah Mar Cyrus P. Domingo Bill Hayden A. Duldulao Mark Valentino C. Eliorenko Gaspar Danfer A. Ines Jayuben Mark P. Jose Leandro J. P. Jennifer Tristan T. Nabok Harry James H. Magdai Felix Nathaniel. Manzano John Henry Christine M. Mones Mark Angelo A. Ramos John Dexter M. Sadora Luis Arvin L. Salvador Chan Day. Lasco Kyle Yuen A. Alfar Francelen B. Alterado Mariel C. C. Marion Winnie B. Asile Nedelin M. Nakumos Stasi Kailis A. Langan Danica S. Sporton Erika D. with honor. Salotera Abigail F. Miron Nika J. D. with high honor. Tesha Jaina Sofia G. Joaquin Precious Thea P. Marcos Hayasin Lucil F. Ariña Christine May B. Mendoza Hope Sel S. Albido Syra Joyce J. Rivera Alaika Play C. Tangonan Janela May C. Tubaran Ethel Joyce B. Glasgow Josa May M. I have the honor to present to you the graduates of grade 6 Makabansa class this school year 2020-2021 Aban Luis Angelo P. Alayu Santino Louis M. Bangibang Renz Joseph R. Bravo Art Jun C. Kasikin Murphy Josker Jam C. Castillo Thomas Jade C. Devera Eji Van Mark D. Dosejo Romulo Jr. F. Feliciano Joshua F. Gaspar John Russell D. Gomez Mark John C. Ilarde Gerald C. Ilarde Jerome C. Labog Wolf Dave P. Madrid Jerry J. Jr. D. Madrid, Joshua S. Oliver, Gerald S. Paladin, Ethan C. 
Pato, Mark Daniel L. Pinigat, Nestor Dicard B. Duar, Liam Marco S. Pontok, Kerwin Paulo T. With Connors. Aboliso, Jainaira Ia T. With Connors. Agpalo, Kisha Kesney M. With Connors. Alindada, Christine Claire D. Aquino, Chrislyn Kate A. Aquino, Lorraine Caitlin A. With Honors. Barbieto, Sweeney Nicole A. Daza, Unique Asley H. With Honors. De La Cruz, Wendy J. L. With Honors. Dumelod, Laika K. B. Enriquez, Mika Ella S. Garcia, Adelaide Faith L. Lapada, Marty Rihanna T. Liban, Jemima Kesaya L. Mejia, Marian M. Miranda, Luigi Jamil T. With honors. Ramos, Eliza Jelaine U. With honors. Rakinho, Princess Anisel P. Tambawan, Marian B. With honors. Vinegas, Kathleen Janelle J. With honors. the honor to present to you the graduates of grade 6 Masunurin class for the school year 2020-2021. Arase Astrius Eric D. With honors. Archaga Akia Gabriel P. Bernabe Gerald J. Broncano Ken Hero M. Udomo Travis Noel A. Kawile Jr. Junar B. De Guzman Michael M. De Los Ama Jared H. De Vera Cyril Angelo P. Espedido Robman P. Estrellado Rafael James A. Florendo Sherwin P. Dayagoy Angelino A. Ilagan Ron Michael A. With honors. Liban John Mark S. Mangasep Alfred John Vanes N. Nicole Joshua M. Padilla Marius L. Pahalon Bon Darrell B. Paraiso Angel Rao. Pilar King Dominic Anthony P. Verano Clyde Sandre Fielden C. Viloria Rodney C. With honors. Acosta Rian J. S. Afalia Jewel C. Arquero Trixie Colleen C. Avelino Angela Christine E. Takayo Zyrin Joy R. With honors. Doles Franzen Main G. With honors. Felipe Angelica P. Pinaldo Zyra May L. Maglalang Jire Iris L. With honors. Mendoza Precious Darin P. With honors. 
Monta Jenica Sofia G. With honors. Pedroso Alicia Faye S. With honors. Ramago Rania Nelly C. With honors. Ravino Rowelda A. Singor Luis Katrina E. With honors. Season Trisha May G. Takadena Christine Fria Jane T. With honors. Tamtamoy Jasmine M. I have the honor to present to you the graduates of Grade 6 Batipid Plus for school year 2020-2021. Bahao Chan Daniel A. Bodwan Randolph R. Kalyanga Richman Eric S. Corpus Charles Jaren T. Dasin Jobert D. Esteban Christopher Jr. P. Estrellado Aaron James A. Fernandez David Miguel M. Gulia Jarel Jake D. Hu Josh Kenneth M. Kimayong David Jr. B. Ludan Mark Felix Latrell P. With honors. Miranda Asen G. Natividad Dominic P. With honors. Nebre Prince Harrison R. Passes Lebron James C. With honors. Samiling Adonis John M. Saron Isaiah Orlando III N. With honors. Season Mark Lester A. Juliana Charles Chan A. Abelardo Quini Mariben B. Ambatali Lori Valerie L. With honors. Angeles Shailin Desiree B. Bawit Suzanne R. Chaalan Scepter Saira B. Claro Clarissa L. De Guzman Asia Faye M. Rincel Champolin A. With honors. Esteban Precious Jade M. Garcia Quiri Rose D. Hasmin Charis T. With honors. Laybug Jonalyn C. Lumayas Liandi Elaine S. Mercado Micaela G. With high honors. Nicolas Zyro K. D. Pastor Ivy Zane Crystal Q. Romero Zana Rose L. Santos Samantha Ashley L. With honors. Trinidad Audrey Rose M. With honors. Tubaran J. Norin A. With honors. Badil Charmaine Faith J.
all graduates, congratulations! To my fellow graduates, please raise your right hand and repeat after me. We, the graduates of Solane Central School and SPED Center, do most solemnly promise and commit ourselves to love and live up to the ideas and aspirations of our alma mater. We will cherish all things which we stand for. Never do anything that would tarnish your reputation and strive to make ourselves worthy for her name by doing whatever we can in the future to contribute to her progress. As a member of the graduating class of 2021, I bid a victorious morning to everyone celebrating with us today, most especially to our school division superintendent, Dr. Rachel Eriana, our public school district supervisor, Dr. Monalisa E. Cavato, our school principal, Dr. Gemma N. Santaynes, faculty and staff of Solano East Central School, parents and guardians, and of course, my fellow graduates. Every level in one's life would require a different level of difficulty. Before we reach the age of one, we struggle to pronounce our first word as well as to stand up and walk. When we were three or four years old, it was a challenge for us to learn how to write our names and recite our ABC. As we went on with our grade school days, we faced trials in reciting in class, performing for school programs, joining competitions, and even making friends. This school year is indeed special because we all struggled to learn independently and satisfactorily complete our learning activity sheets. Despite all this, look at where we are now. We all have surpassed all those challenges because, as they say, it always seems impossible until it is not. Indeed, things do not get easier, we only get better. We are forever grateful to our dedicated and passionate teachers who have exerted their best effort for us to be equipped with the knowledge, skills, and values we will be needing as we climb the ladder of success. We would also like to thank our parents and guardians who have supported us and who have taken the roles as our teachers at home. Thank you as well to our classmates and schoolmates whom we have and will be sharing our forgettable memories with. To Solano East Central School, thank you for nurturing us to be makajos, makabayan, kakalikasan, at makabansa. Fellow graduates, we will surely face more challenges as we journey toward our high school days. But let us always learn to look back and see how far we have got already. Furthermore, let us not forget to commit to the Lord whatever we do and He will establish our plans. As is stated in Proverbs 16 verse 3, To everyone who in one way or another made this 116th and second beautiful graduation ceremony a success. Thank you and to God be the highest glory.